What's up guys and welcome to another Last Man Standing video today. We're in Abu Dhabi today in the Toro Rosso of Max Verstappen. And well this video has is actually coming out quite a bit after when it should have done. I in fact recorded this a good few days ago. And uh, well the footage was sort of jumpy, laggy and I, I actually rendered the video, uploaded it to YouTube. And I've forgotten half the transitions, so yeah, I'm an absolute noob. But uh, anyway, I'm re-recording it now today. And uh, in my last video, I put a straw poll in the description. Thanks to all 130 of you who uh, who voted, I put the results up on screen now. And uh, as you can see, Abu Dhabi came out on top, just out of Spa. I'll do Spa next time. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I've been promising this video for quite a while now. Um, I'm hoping to upload again tomorrow. I hope you guys did enjoy the Imola glitch video that I put up. It was really good fun to record, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm just really sort of enjoying doing these live commentaries at the moment. But uh, anyway, we're going out onto the grid now. And I'm hoping to do, uh, well, obviously this last man standing and another one before F1 2015 comes out. Uh, but if you guys are new to this series, then basically I drive with a lower ranked team and try to DNF all of the other cars on the grid to be uh, called the last man standing or whatever. But uh, anyway, we're driving as Max Verstappen, as I've probably already said. Uh, here at the Abu Dhabi circuit, we've got 14 laps ahead of us, but hopefully it'll take less than 14 laps. So we are away anyway, and I think we're just going to just try and motor it into turn one. Just look at that. Goodbye, Salbert, and there's a McLaren Honda, which hopefully should be out of the race. If there is any realism in F1 2014, then it will be out of the race, as we've got no front ring, which means the most understeer you've ever seen in your life. And this corner looks as if it may be good, and yes, it is. Obviously, like I say, I've got a bit of experience, as Maldonado is just, I don't know what he's doing. But uh, yeah, I said, I've already recorded this before, so I've sort of got a bit of experience with this track. And you know what, but just before we get into any more DNFing, I'll give you guys an idea of what happened in the last time I tried to record this. Oh my word, oh my word, okay that actually worked. Uh, I did not expect that to work and now we've got another Mercedes, no it isn't, it is a Williams, or at least it was, until it got completely destroyed. And okay, this is probably, oh, oh yes! Yes! We've got another one! That's three in the space of three cars, and we've got another! We are actually not doing too badly, and there's a complete cluster of cars. And no, no, you're not getting past Ricardo. Okay, maybe you are. I'm literally so bored right now that I'm just revving the engine to pass the time. And we've, we've been here so long that our tyres are stone cold. And... No, I'm not. I'm absolutely done. I'm completely done. What on earth has happened there? Okay. So as you guys could probably tell, it was not a success whatsoever last time. I'm determined to make amends for it. And we've already... Well, that is just... That's just cruel on the mana car, I think. And I think we've got a wheel stuck underneath us. Um, have we? Or is it gone? I think it's gone. Anyway, we've, we're down to 17 runners. And I'm currently last of those 17 runners, so I'm just going to sort of limp it back to the pit lane, get a new front wing, get some new, uh, so a new fresh set of boots, and hopefully we can go and DNF some more cars. Oh my god, we did not even get a corner cutting warning for that. This game does sort of scare me sometimes. Okay, so what I found from the last time I tried to record this was that the end of the huge straight on this circuit is amazing for DNFing cars. I got a, a, a whole host of cars here. So I'm just going to camp here and oh my word, we've got our first car. We've got our first car. We've got our first retirement. We've got our second puncture. Oh my word, we've got two Mercedes already and the Williams. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Surely another. Oh my god, we've got two more and this is insane. Oh my word, we have found our our spot. We really have. And there's another one, surely. Yes, that's Maldonado out. And that is not the first time you've heard that in this series. And my word, we have created a war zone. There are five cars out. There's so much debris on the track. And what I've just said is completely right in the sense that, well, it is working. 
Oh, see Daisy, a penalty already for corner cutting, I assume. Yes, indeed. And... Okay, that's only a 10 second penalty. We still don't get any sort of warning for completely cutting that corner. Okay, right, I didn't notice that he was coming. And that's probably why I was sort of caught off guard a bit. Well, that was awkward. Another car, another car. Surely a DNF this time. Yes! McLaren Honda out of the race. Not for the first time and not for the last. And oh my word, a double, double hit that time. And I've no idea what the two cars were. It was another McLaren. And there's a manager sort of barging his way through. And surely there are more cars coming. Yes, there is. There's a whatever that was. Oh my word. Okay, I've got to take a look at the replay there. I'm pretty sure we've just mounted a, uh, a Williams. And as we take a look on the replay, we have indeed that... Yeah, that, that, that's not something I'd recommend. Uh, <laughs> that, that Williams is, well, it's, it's ruined. And as you can see here, our teammate just plows along and just has no care in the world for us. And, well, well, this is just so weird. Juan Hulkenberg, or whoever it is, Perez, just come past, mate, just come past. And then get absolutely shunted, my friend. I'm so cruel in this series, and... Although that we've done this, what, five or six times now, th th this series still never fails to amaze me, which, I th which is, I think, testament to the idea. Um, it really just never fails to bring crazy moments, and, and I'm, I'm constantly surprised at the, the crashing physics of this game. Uh, it really does never fail to surprise me. Ne neither does my, uh, my corner-cutting ability. That's our second penalty, both at the same corner. And wow, we are an absolute god of corner cutting. Okay, there's another car. I'm going to have to reverse up to try and avoid him. Because uh, I think he was going to come at some speed at me. And boy, am I failing. Oh, okay, we've got a front wing. And now if we can just sort of box Ricardo in and not let him move, surely that's going to be another retirement. And then we'll be down to five runners. Surely. Come on, Ricardo. Just give up. Come on, you know you want to. Please. Three weeks later, many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, no exaggeration. I've been here for literally at least a minute. And Ricardo is still frantically turning his steering wheel just like Ericsson did at Monza. He's got no front wing, but he's still thinking, nah, I can win this Grand Prix. I can win this Grand Prix, lads. I've got this. And uh, I don't even know. What is he doing? I mean, come on, Daniel. Just give up, mate. Uh, surely you just know that I'm trolling at this stage, but you just, oh, just, just give up, Daniel, come on. And now Ricardo is just going, and he's like, nah, I'm, I'm going, mate, I'm off. I am off, and now we've got another car coming round. Will we be able to DNF him? That is the question. It's another Red Bull. Yes, we do. That time it was Daniel Kvyat, and there's our teammate. He has royally mugged us off. Oh, well, 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 there's our teammate. There's Sainz. Sainz, now, come on, Carlos. Just give us a break, mate. And is he pulling over? No, he isn't. Is he boot pulling over? And, um... Oh, boy. Right, so now we've just got to wait for Stevens to come round. And... Uh, oh, no, science has pulled over. We're down to three. So now we've got to get Stevens, who is here. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Just one more to go. Just Sebastian Vettel, who's coming over the start-finish line now. And... I'm sorry, Will. You got onto the podium, mate. Surely you've got to be happy with that. Or did he? No, I think Science actually beat him. I'm sorry, Will. You didn't quite get onto the podium. But uh, anyway, just one more car to go now. And surely we can win another last man standing. Oh, Vettel's here. Vettel is here. Come on. No. Oh, what the hell happened there? What on earth happened? I literally have no idea. He just went straight through us. Well, no, 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 nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Nobody's seen that we've cut corners so much that we've now got three penalties. Or that. No, you definitely didn't see that either. Four penalties. Wow, we're kind of running a risk of disqualification at this point. Oh, wait, wait, okay. We're, we're now under race stewards review. Vettel's in the pit lane, so we're going to take this opportunity to just sort of cruise along. And we've completed a very solid lap time of about 10 minutes. Right. The, the question is, do we swipe him? 
Or do we... Yeah, we're going to swipe him. Why not? Why not? Why not? Come on. Is it, is, it, is it... Has it worked? Has it worked? No, it hasn't. That was such a fail. Oh, my God. How does he keep getting away? This is re literally ridiculous. Oh, my God. I just don't even know what we have to do to get Vettel. There he is. Vettel is there. We're now on the long straight. So, all we need to do now is brake check him. And surely, we've got to get him. He's, he, he's literally... He must have had about nine lives by now. And... Come on, just brake check him here. Brake check. Come on. Yes! We've done it! We've succeeded! Get in there, my son. Oh, get in there. Bob is now your uncle because we have DNF'd all other 19 cars. All we've got to do now is complete about 25 laps. Because that must have been how long it took us to DNF Vettel. It must be at least 10 laps, though, in all seriousness. Yeah, he completed 10 laps. So we've got to get to lap 11. And, boy, this has been difficult. But hopefully now, we'll be able to become the last man standing. So, the end is now close. And it looks like we should be able to complete this. Coming towards the end of the straight, surely now we're going to go up into P1. I hope so, anyway. And here we go. Yes, we are. We're P1, baby. And we're going to crash. Not in very spectacular fashion whatsoever. And, well... Maybe do some donuts. We've got to rear puncture somehow. I have no idea how. But, yeah, that was not very spectacular whatsoever. So, instead, we're just going to crash wherever we can find. And that should just about wrap up the episode. Here looks like a good place. Oh, no, no. Okay, it's a refined area or a confined area. Whatever. And it just doesn't want us to end, does it? It really doesn't. We're just going to crash into this wall. There we go. That's the end of the episode, Dad. We've completed the challenge once again. So thanks ever so much for watching, guys. There you can see the results. Max Verstappen wins. Sebastian Vettel, the so-called invincible Vettel, who set a lap time about two seconds quicker than anyone else. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this episode, then do make sure to drop it a like. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, get in there, my son. We finally did something that was half decent, oh my word. Well, maybe we don't suck so much.